Hello, this is Doddy and welcome back to another video. And in this video, oh, I've got something planned up. Okay, so recently, Tiny Bill, the creators of Hell and Eber and other great games, have been teasing us with little Hell and Eber secret neighbor stuff. So, the first video that they released is called Secret Neighbor. Now, if I open this up here, as you can see, it's just a video of the neighbor looking around and seems my first guess at this is thinking, okay, Secret Neighbor, something's going on here. So, I was, I was thinking about it, I was thinking, oh, it could be Hell Neighbor Shaders. Could be Shaders and Hell Neighbor. And then, um, yeah, oh, oh, video game news is also a, um, a Hell Neighbor fan who is a YouTuber himself. Can't wait, super awesome. So basically, there's something going on here. And if we go into the description of this, just a Hell Neighbor. But then, this is the thing I want to look at here. We've got two things here this with Russian language, whatever you want, whatever language it is, and then a website link. Now, if I bring up the other, like, the one that came three hours ago from when I'm recording this. So, he's basically just running around. And if I go into the description, it just has the secretneighbor.com link again. Now, this makes me very confused, kind of. But, because I love mysterious things. Anything that's mysterious... Uh, I like so if I go into this video which they released on April the 1st which turned out by an email was um, <laughs> yeah Hell and Neighbor Battleground they they did um, tease this and then um, yeah I got an email basically saying it's fake by Tiny Bill, so it was an April Fool's joke, um, which is understandable because YouTubers do do April Fools. But now, if I have a look before we go into this website, let's copy this here and let's go into Google Translate here. Let's paste it in here. Translate into English. It's detected that is Russian. It comes up with this. It still looks like. Spanish or Russian, it's, it still looks like Russian, so it's the exactly the same. I'm not sure what this is, and it comes up with this S P N A line. I have no idea what this is, honestly. I have no idea. I'm not sure how that's even translated into English, but yeah, now. If we go on to the Hell Neighbor Secret Neighbor website here, you'll see that it, it's basically Hell Neighbor's got their own website. The actual Hello Neighbor game um, website got an upgrade. Just It just looks a bit different. As you can see, it looks a lot more clean. Um, yeah, it, it generally does look a lot more clean and nicer. Um... Now, when you have a look at it, though, they've got a form page here, which is new. So if we click onto this, got Hell Neighbor Chat and Troubleshooting, which again, same. Um, look, Secret Neighbor getting closer. So that's someone. That's the one question there. Um, let's see the comments. <laughs> And also on Hell Neighbors um, page here, if we have a look, it's basically just the exact same. Just running around. But let's have a, let's go into more detail a little bit now. So the first thing that we can do is we can play with the brightness. So let's drag a brightness and contrast on this. Let's change the brightness and contrast quite up here so we can see what's happening so it does look like it's somehow dark outside 
we have a look here, all right, something we can somehow dim that light here. Okay, we, we get in a an okay-ish view, but not we can't see much what is past there, although the probably the closest we can get is here. So it's pretty much actually let's stop that where it starts moving so there. Okay, so there's not much really you can actually do on that, although you can just see in this corner here, if I zoom in, you can see this little shadow just appear, which seems to be us moving. So, and the thing is though, that does not look like, I kid you not, that does not look like our character. And it's weird how when we're walking onto it, unless if it's unless if it's someone else here yeah, because it the light the light seems to be walking forwards one thing definitely it is and the light's pretty much here and it stops there so that must mean that whatever whoever is holding this light must have the shadow of this guy here so there's quite a bit going on here so we've got <laughs> this, which is the the shadow, you can obviously he is holding something there, so we can't see much past it than that. What else could we do? I think there is some other things that we can have a look at because this one here is actually new. Take a look. So that actually gives us a lot of stuff there. Look, patiently waiting for someone to figure it out. Look, on Tiny Bill's Twitter page, it even has this guy here. And they're saying waiting for someone. So obviously they are clearly waiting for someone to figure this out. Okay, guys, so I'm back with recording that one. I hope there's not any more, otherwise I'm going to have to go back and do that one as well. But there was one, obviously, on the website link, if we go to it, th this video anyway here, which is pretty obvious, it's just, you don't really need any adjustments that you can pretty much see what's going on. The neighbour looking around, which I think backs up the, the theory that this could be a hide and seek, aka someone in multiplayer mode is a neighbour and you have to try and hide from him which understands why he is looking around but he could be trying to find the person so if we create a new sequence here and drag this new video into here you can see and we also need to scale it to size like so let's just get it so there's no borders because that would really annoy me so, from what we can see, is the neighbour um, seem to be walking around, and then he kind of gets like he's, it looks like he's r he runs into a room, and then this light just sweeps over like that, and you can just see. Him step through there and his leg just there, as you can see. So that's. I'm not sure what that light is. That might back up the other one here. This light. Maybe it's not the neighbour or. Um, maybe it's not the neighbour that's chasing you. Maybe it's someone else and their neighbour has to run away from it as well. Their neighbour's just another character that you could play. Maybe it's the Shadow Boy, which would understand actually why the Shadow actually looks like the Shadow Boy. So, I feel like we're going 
somewhere with this. So if we bring on the brightness and contrast here as well, bring up the brightness, bring up the contrast a bit. So if we have a look at this here, solely on this part here, what do you reckon this is? It looks like to me someone lying on its side on like a bed or something. That's what that little thing looks like. It looks like that's the head and that's a body bit there. I'm not sure, but we're going to have to speculate about that. You can see that there's shells, obviously, there. And you can't quite see what is actually there, though. Something does glisten here, which is interesting. And, yeah, and also... It might not be generally holding a flashlight, but in this one, it, the shadow actually looks like it is. But the but the shadow boy in the final boss fight, if you remember, there was um it was that his eyes was glowing, so that might have something to do with this. So the last thing I want to talk about is the source code in this website. Now, this is something special because if you bring up the source code information here by pressing F12, you'll be able to see that in the source code of the website here, you'll be able to see this kind of like um, text here. It will say, meta name description content, a brand new game in the Hello Neighbor universe. What could that be? I have no idea, but that seems to be the description or some sort of stuff in the content of this website. Now, there's also two things that you can go through here. There seems to be an image, .png, and it seems to be a URL link. So if I go into here, paste it in here, it just basically comes up with a picture of the neighbor's beautiful moustache. And so does the other link, because I've tried out all these as well. And this is basically, um, basically some of this is just saying it's made by Wix. And that's the website name here. This is, I can't remember what this is actually. I'll have to see if I can bring this back up again. So what is this? Oh yeah, this here is what I want to show you. I might just save this just in case. Just in case. So, this is the, a picture of the neighbour. In It looks like a bathroom or just something that has a mirror. Though it's probably not, obviously, because it has, like, a neighbour here. It doesn't look like a back bathroom in the background. It's the first thing you think of in the mirror, really. Um, and a neighbour with a shh um, face here, and you can see little cabinets here, flowers, a, like, it looks like one of those things when you're moving out, like, in the seti in Alpha 2, when you move into the neighbour's house, and then... The, you have a white sheet over the couch. So that's what it looks like. Now, the one thing that makes me think that it's a multiplayer game so much is all down, all down, you might not believe it, to this little dot. Now, it may not look like much, but every single neighbour game there is, aka just Hell Neighbor, um, or this Secret Neighbor game. But every single alpha up to the full game, where it still is included, there has been this dot in the center of the screen. And I'm not sure if it's on in cutscenes or not as well. I, I believe there's not in cutscenes. But when you're playing, there's a little dot in the middle. It's basically telling you that you are the neighbour. Now that also tells us that this multiplayer thing could be a thing that you could play as the neighbour. 
to one character. But we still don't know if you're running from this shadow guy or a totally new character or the neighbour. We don't know if it's multiplayer as in both of you run away from this guy or one of you plays as the neighbour and chases the other one. Now, please leave a comment down in the comment section below to show if you have anything new to share about this um, like mystery that's going on. Hopefully Tiny Build will tell us what's happening soon. But obviously it looks like they're working on something. Like I said, my high guess at the moment, I'm probably full of hopes of a multiplayer Hell Neighbor, Hell Neighbor game. And honestly, as soon as Hell Neighbor came out, I was thinking, oh, it's good. I wish there was a Hell Neighbor multiplayer thing. I wish it could be multiplayer. Not even joking. I honestly wish there would be a multiplayer game because it would be so cool. And uh, I wasn't thinking, obviously, Hell Neighbor Hide and Seek like this or whatever. I was thinking just to break into Neighbor's Basement multiplayer. But this is interesting. So, unfortunately, guys, this is going to be the end of this quick little... I wouldn't say quick, it's been quite long. It's going to be the end of this video, explain video, talking about what is going on. If you do like to see more by me, then please hit that big subscribe button down below so you don't miss a single video on this channel when I do upload one. If you like this video, then please leave a like down below to show your support and to show that you do like this topic video that I've just quickly worked on today. But apart from that, it's the end video and I'll see you in the next one.